And now we check in with Weather Authority meteorologist Lydia Knox. Lydia, we were warm today and apparently we're going to get warmer the rest of this week, right? <laughs> yes, that is the case. I know we had a warm start to summer. July was pretty wet and now it looks like August, at least right now, it is going to be a hot week ahead of us. The second week of August, that is. Today, temperatures generally in the 80s, getting close to 90, but not quite there. But there's a good chance we'll tack on a few more 90 degree days this week. Right now, still tracking some showers and storms on live triple Doppler radar brought to you by Falso Service Experts. A lot of this activity Activity is really spotty and generally moving to the northeast and slightly east at this point in time very slowly and you can also see how more yellow is coming into the picture rather than areas of red which is some good news that means that the rain isn't nearly as heavy but up until about sunset tonight there still will be a risk for at least a few of these spotty storms as they continue to move eastward as we head on into the start of new week there is the potential for a heat wave we have a high temperature of 90 or at least near 90 Monday Tuesday and Wednesday. There also will be the opportunity for some isolated showers and storms, especially after Monday. Monday is still looking like potentially the driest day of the week. And then next weekend, that's when it looks like we could cool things down into the 70s once a cold front swings on through. But really over the next five days, get ready to have the AC on. At least make sure that you find a way to stay cool because we have a lot of uh, higher temperatures ahead of us and also higher humidity as well. Tomorrow forecast high 90. The record 100. So we don't have a great chance at tying or breaking any records, but it's still going to be hot and above average for this time of year. On Tuesday, the forecast high of 92, the record then 97, and also the record for Wednesday is 97 degrees and the forecast being 90. For the rest of tonight, future cast will show a partly cloudy sky. Those storms gradually really diminishing once we get closer to 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Overnight low is falling into the low 70s and the upper 60s, so it is going to be another muggy one. And overnight, there could be a few showers clipping really the north country, Jefferson, Lewis County, closer to the Canadian border, while the rest of us stay mostly dry. A little bit of patchy valley fog may develop, especially in those spots that saw some rain today. And tomorrow, we're starting off with some sunshine, a few clouds mix on in in the afternoon with highs close to 90. And overall, I think it's going to be mostly dry. On Tuesday, there will be a better chance for at least a few showers and storms late in the afternoon and then also as we head on into the evening. Very similar to today and yesterday, really spotty in nature. So 90 is a high tomorrow, 92 on Tuesday, 90 on Wednesday, and also keep in mind it's going to feel more like the mid and upper 90s. So you'll definitely want to make sure that you're taking breaks if you're going to be outside. 88 on Thursday, another chance for a few showers and storms, and the same can be said for Friday. 84, it's next weekend when it looks like things are going to be a little bit quieter. We should see more sun sunshine, drier conditions, and temperatures back on into the 70s, so even a little bit below normal.